Bird's Tail here. I've um, just been working today with water soluble fabrics. So I thought I'd show you because people keep asking me what we're doing. I just wanted to show you one here if you've never done any water soluble uh, stitching. I've stitched a grid here. This is a free stitch, free grid. So, but you could just be straight stitch with the feed dogs up just to make that little gritty shape. And then I've taken some of the fancy patterns, all very on my machine, and stitched some lines. So it's not washed out, but that will give you a really nice little layer. And to follow that, this is one that I've done. A little bit different. There's the grid. It hasn't got any extra. It's only basically a single line grid. And I've used metallic top and bottom. And then I have stitched uh, some slightly more sophisticated stitches from my machine on my machine. And you'll see when they wash out how they sort of semi-link, but they don't, what makes them very interesting. And then here I've actually stitched a, a computer, you know, a, this is a free flower, but this is a little computer uh, shape that I've stitched onto it. So you've got this lovely piece which could it holds its own. I've used metallic top and bottom. It's important that your bottom thread is as exciting as your top thread. In this case, I've used uh, metallic on the top and the bottom. And contrary to what a lot of people fear, it is very, very effective. It's also strong and firm. The grid gives it the structure to, to work onto once you've made a base grid. And then now I've come back to make, I made a lot of flowers at different times. So I've used, as you can see, variegated threads all the time. And normally in the middle, I put a bit of silk fibre. Um, and there's quite a few. That's one that's a bit of a disaster, but it doesn't matter. Look, I could trap something else underneath. Um, here, they, Here's another one here. And another one to look at. Um, you can shape, when these are done, you can shape them again. I've washed them out completely. And so they're all quite flat, but they could be layered up onto a piece. And... You want stems to hold them all down. In fact, that's what I shall do with them to make a collage piece. And to do this, I've got a piece of um, uh, water soluble here. And I haven't put any, uh, any fabric or fibres or anything in there. I just did this to show you what you can do. Uh, so look, just big dogs down, straight stitch. And then you can trace this or draw it. Pretty Mickey Mouse, but basically to show you, I've done a little pattern, just a little a free stitching pattern here. I won't do too many more. And then go up and down. The bottom line is that you want it to lengthen some way. So this one here, I could do little circles, get more so stitched in, and so on. And that's enough of that. But I'll just show you here. There's a little, uh, the pattern, the grid pattern, and there's the little circles. And it's the ones that I use quite a lot. So those are my flowers. And then I've made a lot of hearts at different times. So you've got a heart here. Um, and you can see here in the middle of the heart, I've done lots and lots of stitching. And then I've just simply extended it with um, straight stitch and done a little anchor out from it. But it's a very effective to make one sort of heart. You can do all sorts. That's a much looser one with a small heart in the middle and lines here. And even though they don't necessarily seem to link, they hold their own. Uh, this is one here that's got lots of stitching in the middle, so it's very, very firm. And another one that is um, the same, but bigger one. And another one that's got a pattern in the middle, so it's not filled in. So it's simply a grid in the middle of it, but the same principle. And then one that's got a little bit more character. And to add to this, it's got a bit caught up on itself. But I've made um, a very loose one, a little heart in the middle. It needs to be ironed there and some danglies at the bottom. So it's a very effective way of making something that can be a 3D or hang off the bottom of your work or incorporate into your work or hand stitch it onto it. So those are the hearts. And then um, I have also made like a very serious grid. And this could be based on a pattern that you have. And to do that, um, I've done the outside and, and I've zigzagged. So just like this, when you come to the edge here, you want to, it's not gonna work very well on here, but just to show that you might just, just do a little zigzag around the edge. Right? 
caught up in there, but that's all right. But just to show you a little zigzag. Now to do the zigzag, you need the straight stitch first or the zigzag will simply fall apart. So you do the whole lot with straight stitch right round and work this pattern up. Um, I think this is, and then uh, you put your zigzag over the top and then in the middle, I put little circles and join them all up. So it's almost like a, a pattern of a, um, a carpet or something like that. And then on top of that, I've done another one here with uh, metallic and I've beaded it. So uh, this is sort of similar again, the same sort of pattern of playing around with metallic threads and making this pattern up. And finally, for now, I've got this one here, which is simply a long, beautiful one, just an extension of this one to make a long piece, which you could attached to anything you wanted so it's stitching the little flowers up and you can see this one hasn't joined now i could link that up again by hand or anyway when you're finished you, normally you hold them up and have a look and see if they have lasted and finally this one here is the grid you can see the grid there and the tiny little zigzag over the whole lot and these are some flower stitches that have been put onto it so they will hold their own when they come out if you've got a you're working with a flower stitch foot people often ask me about that so i hope that's given you a few ideas for today i've got a few more things that i'm working on with water soluble but i'll come back and show you those another time so bye